removing the complications so that it becomes simple and clean just you just him in the earth speaking his word the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, I have a simple message tonight for those who do a certain thing. And it's not for everyone because not everyone does this. Most Christians don't do this christianity doesn't worship the holy ghost they do a lot of other things but they don't worship him as god christianity never got here or rather it got here and then drew back from it i'm not saying there isn't any good but good is the enemy of great first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the Living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy the Living God that we worship and serve gives us richly all things to enjoy that's a great gospel I'm creating a tribe of Holy Ghost worshipers people who know the Holy Ghost as God and worship him the Holy Ghost says I'm not going to do the new inside the camp I've come outside the camp to worship him John 4 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth they that do this thing do what thing you say worship him god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth well there is a they that worship him and they that worship him are differentiated from they that don't get that straight you begin worshiping him and you go outside the camp of people that don't worship him did you hear that they that do worship him enter into the second part of that verse in spirit and in truth things become super simple over here inside this place it's not all this complicated googly gawk that we've been fed over the years you enter in to a camp so to speak you exit one you enter into another well it's a kind of truth that they that don't can't know can't enter into they can give lip service to they can get an idea of it but they're not really there how do you know because I wasn't really there I knew a lot of stuff but I wasn't where I am now as a Holy Ghost worshiper a Holy Ghost worshiper is marked by God in a way that they that don't aren't well a while ago as I was worshiping the Holy Ghost using the words I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I was using those words I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I entered into a room I suppose you could say it was a vision but I entered into this room and there were it was full of angels I mean it was crowded in you ever enter into a crowded room you go into a room and you're like oh oh and you gotta kind of move this way and you shuffle over this way because there's so many people in there 
you're honestly just trying to get over to the to the buffet but you got to scooch around because it's just full of people they were angels I entered into a room full of angels and I bumped into one of them and he looked at me and he said I don't have anything to do with those who don't worship him the Holy Ghost get that did you hear it I don't have anything to do this is what he said to me I don't have anything to do with those who don't worship him him the Holy Ghost well I could see that there was some type of preferential treatment therefore a mark so to speak on people who do they that do have this Genesis chapter 4 verse 15 and the Lord said unto him therefore whosoever slays Cain vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold and the Lord set a mark upon Cain lest any finding him should kill him my point in mentioning that is that God does this he sets marks upon some people that he doesn't set upon other people preferred ones by the Lord of Spirits himself you become when you worship him you have access to things that other people don't get access to Galatians chapter 4 verse 9 but now after that you have known God or rather are known of God are known of God it's preferred we all think we have some type of knowledge of God but rather it's better to be known of God known of God is being marked by God he puts his marker on you his marker of approval on you your worship of him puts a mark on you this marks you if you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost you are known of God and you're able to enter into things that you could not enter into before you began using those words a huge change takes place you're different now you've been marked and if you're still cloudy about it you haven't worshiped him enough until the simplicity shows up a simplicity of being in this place shows up so many people are all just bogged down by trying and striving to do all of these things when worshiping him puts you into a different space where simplicity lives I worship the Holy Ghost as God and walk with him by saying his words this is better this is different if you don't think it's different you haven't done it yet and you're not there yet keep going I know I've done all of the other things I've been in all of the other camps I've run in all of the other circles and this is better this is day and night better and I'm not saying some of that stuff wasn't good I've been in all the services falling out in the spirit is good I've laid hands on people I've had hands laid on me I've prophesied over people people have prophesied over me it's all good but it's not great people get mad at me when I say that but listen it's not great you're lying to yourself if you think it's great you're still there in that semi quasi opaque world of thinking that you're doing everything and you're hoping you're not doing am I doing this am I doing that ah uh, I know I was there I did all of the stuff I preached all of the stuff I lived there this is not there this is different this is outside of that camp it was okay 
and i'm not saying it isn't good to get saved it isn't good to get prophesied over it isn't good to get healed it was okay but it wasn't great this is great this is clean this is simple it's day and night better now i warn you worshiping the holy ghost as god changes everything it will take you outside the camp because this is not inside the camp worshiping the holy ghost changes everything it's like a different operating system when you go and you load a new operating system on your computer everything's different but most of the church is trying to get this if they do even people that come into this and, and start to dabble in maybe worshiping the Holy Ghost a little bit here and there they're trying to get that to run on their old program they're trying to get that to run on the old operating system it won't it destroys the old operating system and you get a brand new one people that know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about if you don't know what I'm talking about yet you haven't worshiped the Holy Ghost enough until it becomes you and him that's it and you walking with him as God in the earth today ah the Holy Ghost comes into the earth as God and people try to add him to their old wiring their old program and it doesn't work and when I say you haven't worshiped him enough I mean you haven't used those words I worship you Holy Ghost 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 and knock it off with everything else I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost until it's just you and him and you realize it's just you and him as God in the earth that's it Jesus will return but it's you and him right now and you walk with him by saying words worshiping him and walking with him this is great and that is no longer acceptable it doesn't work anymore you worship the Holy Ghost and you speak his words Oh, it must be more complicated than that no it's not but getting you there may be a lot more complicated you got to know that he's God you got to know how he came into the earth that Jesus sent him you have to know how to walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word so there's a lot of a lot of things that you have to go through frankly removing the complications so that it becomes simple and clean you and him and him and you and you and him in the earth just you just him in the earth speaking his words so simple so much better so much different than what you were doing before i've had a lot of these comments but this one person just said this isn't real this isn't real I assure you my friend this is very real I'm authentic I do these things I live this way others who do this can testify to the life changing effectiveness and simplicity of it I do the work I form the society I'm forming the future to live in did you hear that others say there's no such thing as a Holy Ghost worshiper you're looking at one I'm a they that do and that affords me entrance into things that they can't know of a whole new system of operating is very simple very clean very effective and will take me farther and to places that they can't go because they don't worship him and speak in agreement with his word listen the Holy Ghost says 
all of my people are sayers and believers in speaking the word of god how can you be wrong saying what he says you can't be wrong you will be right we believe in saying god's word that's how we walk with him you worship him enough until it becomes clear till it becomes clean that it's you and him in the earth walking together worship the holy ghost as god speak in agreement with his word and be marked by him as someone who can go to the next level deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7 the lord shall command the blessing upon thee that is not passive observation from a distance god watching over you that is active participation in the affairs of your life he affords those who worship him access to this blessing this command that he has spoken to be upon you and your house and great things shall take place as you worship him and you shall be changed from one thing to the next outside the camp fear not but go forward and know him as god and walk with him as god in the earth and learn to speak in agreement with his word and life shall be different and life shall not just be good life shall be great we worship you holy ghost in jesus name i thank you for blessing these people and as they do your word by worshiping you and speaking in agreement all those things shall surely come to pass in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost you are the living god you give me richly all things to enjoy i thank you that i am blessed above all the people of the earth and i walk with you in greatness in jesus name amen your God in the earth today. The Father is in heaven, Jesus at his right.